G'day guys, we're back, we're back in Australia. We got back last night from the Thai Fruit Festival. Leaving Thailand was a shame, we really love it there. It's always hard to leave the land of smiles and fructose. Absolutely. Anyway, so we're back in Australia, we're staying with our friends. Just went and did some shopping and we went into Ray's Organics here in Newmarket, Brisbane. And the guy in the fruit and veg aisle, he said, uh, his name was Christian. He said, are you guys that vegan couple? And we're like, yes. Yay, someone remembered. Yes, yeah, so the name <laughs> sticks. Yeah, so hi to Christian. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you need any fruit and veg, head down to Ray's Organics in, where were we? Newmarket, Brisbane. And see Christian. All right, so an update. We are going through a bit of a life change, a bit of a transitional phase. If you're new to the channel and you have no idea what we're talking about, we're gonna post some links to previous videos that will fill you in on what's going on and how we've been um, preparing and leading up to this point. Basically, we don't have a plan B. Plan A is to try and land some work at an organic lemon myrtle farm up near Early Beach. And we tried to contact the farm to lock away the work before you know we get there but unfortunately that's not how they operate we need no. to be on the ground there in front of them for them basically to decide whether we're able to pick lemon myrtle leaves <laughs> yeah. okay anyway so we've got to drive 1100 kilometers just to find out an answer <sighs> well that's all right because we have been in this situation before so we were we talking have. about the idea of taking a leap of faith in previous videos and basically this means you've got something that you want to achieve or you want to do and you're not sure if it's going to work or not you have no idea how it's going to come about but you're going to do it anyway just to find out so this is what we're doing exactly. i guess our last example of this i guess was mm. uh, well one that comes to mind anyway mm. was in thailand um well it was before we got to thailand wasn't it we were trying to apply for work at a foundation working with underprivileged and disabled young children and adults. Mm, it was volunteer work yeah. and we contacted the foundation and they were actually full. They already had enough volunteers and they said, look, I'm sorry, you've missed out. There's no room for you to try again next year. And we're like, no, 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 no. We want to come this year. Yeah. We, we just had everything set up. We really wanted to get into this foundation. So we get, uh, we actually just went there. We went. Uh, we went to Thailand. We did. We went to Thailand and uh, we went up and spoke to the volunteer coordinator face to face and he said the same thing that he told us via email mm. which was no nope, sorry we're full you know uh, it's a shame we'd have loved to have you but we just can't do it we can't accommodate you and, and we kept talking and talking and talking and built rapport with him by the end of the conversation is like you know what go and do some travel in thailand go and see the country come back in five well, weeks yeah. or whatever it was and we'll have a place for you and we're like high five it beautiful so sometimes you just got to go and do it and see what happens, yeah. make it happen as best as you can. It doesn't mean that it's always going to work out, but it has worked for us in the past. Yeah. So No doesn't always mean no. Exactly. You know, if you want something bad enough, sometimes yeah. that will, um, you know, help you happens. find a way. Yeah, and, I, and it's also, I think, you know, if it's meant to be, then it's going to, things are just going to align and it's going to work for you. And maybe it's not meant to be, so that's all right as well. It means you're meant to be doing something else. So anyhow, the point is we've taken this giant leap of faith before and uh, here we go again. So we're going to pack the car tonight or tomorrow morning and take you guys with us. We're driving up. It should take about a day and a half. We're going to make videos along the way, but not sure what our internet connection will be like. So we will upload those videos as soon as we can. And we're just going to see what happens. That's it. We'll keep you up to date. So if all goes according to plan and we do get work on this farm, we'll be there for, say, three or four months, we're thinking, make a bit of money and then head back off to Thailand. So that's the update, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road. See you soon.